Here, Janie, I will take you. Blah blah blah. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> what are you doing here? I, I, I told just... you that I don't want to see you here anymore. The men's room isn't for you, baby girl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I checked. There was nobody here, and I just need. He checked. <laughs> Forget him. Then let's go. No, you don't get it. You've made me very upset. But I'm tired of this conversation. Maybe I didn't make myself clear. Guys, can you help me explain? <laughs> oh. Mikey, hi. You are late today. Were you detained at school? Yeah, Jenny and I were preparing a project. I see. I, um, I finished soon and we can watch the game together. No thanks, Dad. I have a lot of homework today. But you never missed a game. This is so unlike you. I really need to study. Okay. S son, are you... Wait a second. Yes, Bill. Dad, I'm off to school. Yeah, Mikey, okay. You know, I'm going to the office soon. I can give you a ride if you want. No, thanks. As you wish. Good luck. Hello, Jenny. Can I see Mike? Yes, of course. Please come in. How is he feeling? Uh, he's feeling fine. Why do you ask? Mike was at school today. I thought he's sick. Jenny! Uh, what are you doing? Mike, you know, Jenny came because she's worried about your health, and now... I am worried about your health too, son. I walked your friend out. Mike, we always tell truth to each other. Tell me, why didn't you go to school? I'll go tomorrow. You know, I noticed something was off yesterday. Just tell me, that's it. Sorry, Dad. I lied. It won't happen again. I'll go to school tomorrow. Let's just forget it, okay? No, no, no. That's all right. Listen, Mike. I also had some difficult situations at school when I was young. And that was not so bad as I thought it was. Really? Really. I just understand your feelings. And it's not what it seems it is. What do you mean? Hmm. I'll show you. Tell me, what do you see? hundred bucks. You're right. That's a hundred bucks. And what do you see now? Well, the same hundred bucks. Right. And what if I do this? And what is it now? It's 
Still the same hundred bucks. Still the same. Despite everything I did with this bill, we didn't lose its value. And it remained the same one hundred dollar bill. Mike, believe me. Sometimes in our lives we found ourselves lying on the ground. Miserable. Humiliated. And when we are on the ground, we feel worthless. But it's not true. Believe me, son, it doesn't matter what happened to you. It doesn't matter what is going to happen. What does matter is what is happening now. And what does it end? And in the end, all the bus was in juice. Yeah. yeah. Shall we go? <laughs> yeah, let's go. Look who's here. Got yourself a girlfriend, kid? Jealous. Me? Of course not. But my shoe is missing your kisses. Shall we repeat? Are you nuts? Hi, Mrs. Robinson. <laughs> Today, stadium, after classes. You lost already. Let's go. Are you out of your mind? It's gonna be okay. Don't worry. Let's go. <laughs> so where he is? Mikey! Let's call him together. Mikey! 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 <laughs> it seems that someone has freaked out and wet his pants. <laughs> A cheer! <laughs> Why? Guys, my name is Mike, and I study here, just as you do. And I was afraid of guys like Dan, just as you are. What are you talking about? Get down, now. My fist really wants to meet your face. <laughs> guys, I was afraid too. This fear made me suffer from humiliation. It made me lose my dignity. But one person told me, we can't fall down. But if we stand up and move forward, we'll never lose our true value and dignity. And I realized there's nothing to be afraid of. Even if I get hit and fall down, the most important thing is to stand up after. And I will. And so will you. <laughs> well, hold on, Mikey. Come here, you chicken. You challenge me. Let's fight. Physically, I'm weaker than you. But get ready, Dan. I'll fight you to the last drop. I'm not afraid of you anymore. I might lose this fight, but I'll definitely cripple you. You are all out of your mind. Jeff, let's go. dinner with my boss tonight. Austin, get down here, man. What are you doing? You have two hours to clean yourself up and make something nice. Arthur, great. Here you are at last. Austin has told me so much about you. You're mine. Only mine. There's no way to run. 